Hi Shell Bauer here. This week I got some new stencils and embossing folders. This is just one of them. So this is what you get inside. You're going to get an embossing folder and you get a stencil. And I found I could make these three cards they're all slightly different in their own way and I will get Gary to take a picture so you can see them now. So now we're going to get our materials to make these. So I need my embossing folder and my stencil. This is actually one from Crafters Companion. It's a 3D embossing folder and stencil contemporary hearts. I need my three cards, one red, one grey, one white. Three pieces of black cardstock. Don't worry about the sizes, you will find them all on my blog at shellscraftcorner.co.uk. The Midas Spectrum Metallic Pigment Gold. I've used a dauber, low tack tape, tear tape, my scissors and bits. And although you can't see it, I've got my Gemini Junior here to do our embossing. So now we're gonna get on and make the cards. So firstly, I need two embossed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my card into my embossing folder. And for those of you that do have a Gemini, you're gonna need your clear plate a magnetic shim then you're going to pop your embossing folder on it and your plastic shim and you're just going to feed that through to the machine so that's one done oh, I need another one for this so same thing Now I have two, I've got one to do this one, one to do this one, and I just need that for this one. So I'll pop that all to one side, and we're gonna bring them in and do them one at a time. So we're gonna start with this card. So I need my base white card, I need my bit that I embossed, I need my stencil, some low tack tape, the ink, and the dauber. So first of all, I'm going to lay my stencil over. And I'll just put a bit of tape just to keep it semi in place. So you can use a blending tool, but Adorba does just a good a job. And all I'm gonna do is get some on my Adorba. And I'm just gonna pounce it around everywhere. going to have a quick look make sure I'm happy lift that away there I have my card so now what I will do now is pop a bit of tear tape And there we have the first one. So 
So card number two, I need the embossed piece and I need the grey. I'm just going to turn it around my way and all I've done with this one is ink up the door bar and all I'm going to do is just run it over the card so you can just see all I'm doing there I've just rubbed across like I have there just to pop the detail on the race pieces So there we have card number two. Card number three, we're going to need just a blank piece of black card and our red card base. Because all we're going to do with this one is we're going to lie the stencil over. Here's a piece of your low tack tape. Get your door bar. And all I'm going to do is rub. I'm just going to undo that. Left that off. There we've got our nice one, and all we would do again, tear tape. And there we have card number three. So I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. Like I said, one purchase of a stencil and embossing folder and you can get three totally different looking cards. So in my book, that's value for money. And I know us crafters like value for money. Now you could either leave the cards like this or you could get yourself a sentiment and place a sentiment on it. I haven't done so yet because I'm still busy making my mind up whether I want to pop a, a sentiment or not. Don't forget all the sizes of the cards that I've used, the products that I've used will be on my blog at shellscraftcorner.co.uk. If you could like and click the subscribe button that makes me happy and the little bell so that you know next time that I pop something up. So until next time, bye bye for now.